all uh, why would i say most versatile it does not suffer from any limitation okay, it is you by far i would say it is the best method which we have the reasons are number one it does not suffer from any limitation like marpas can only be used once in a day when the body is on your meridian intercept can be used at any other time any time before marpas after marpas body close to the horizon body close to the meridian in any case the intercept method can be used if you compare it with long by crown now long by crown has one limitation we can use long by crown before marpas and after marpas but there is one limitation which longitude by chronometer has that limitation is that long by crown method should not be used when the body is close to the meridian so let us say for example sun the marpas of sun occurs around noon time so close to noon if you want to take the sight of the sun and it is not meridian passage it is either before marpas or after marpas then in that case longitude by chronometer method should be avoided so that's a limitation which the long by crown method has intercept has got no limitation like that intercept can be used in any condition iske baad bhi hum do method karenge ek method aayega x meridian x meridian method can be used only in a certain window jisko hum log bolte hain x meridian limit intercept does not suffer from that limitation intercept can be used at any time of the day and panchwa method jo hamara aayega polaris that method is applicable to only one single body that is the pole star intercept can be used with any celestial body so as far as a navigator is concerned this is the best method for position fixing so let's see what this method is and how do we obtain a position line using the intercept method so first of all let's see what all information is provided to us in the question the information provided is exactly the same which was provided in long by crown okay so in info provided you have the date and time the uh, time could be either uh, gmt time or in some rare case it could be chronometer time wherever they give you chronometer time they will also give you a am pm indication so that you can resolve the chronometer ambiguity along with this they will give you the extent altitude and the index error and height of i index error height of i is required for altitude correction now along with this they will give us the dr position so you see this is exactly the same information which was given to us in long by crown in fact both these methods are uh, interchangeable wherever you can use long by crown you can use intercept also and uh one doubt now comes to my mind i have just now told you that wherever we can use long by crown we can use intercept also so if we use long by crown and if some other person uses intercept for that same site will they get the same pl or will they get different pl what do you think if one one person uses long by crown another person uses intercept will they get same pls or different pls so i think pl will be same sir pl to same aayegi sir pl different aayegi uh, position line will be different kyunki uska angle hai par the idea is ki agar dono ko construct uh, dono ko do pl ko jodenge to position bilkul sahi aayegi yeah okay so i will explain it to you we will make a diagram and i'll show it to you uh, whichever method you use whether you use long by crown or you use intercept 
if it is worked out which is one single site at the same at the same time so the pl will be the same only thing is the reference point for drawing the pl will be different but the line which you get on the chart will be exactly the same i will show you with a diagram after we do this method okay so this is the information uh, which is provided to us now let's see how do we go, go about solving the intercept question now the beginning is exactly the same as we did in long by crone first of all we find the hourly gha of the body from the daily page you apply the increment for minutes and seconds from the increment table you apply the v correction if it is required for that body and you get the accurate gha for the time of observation so that's the first step you apply the dr longitude and you get the lha of the body now this lha will also give you the value of p so if lha is less than 180 p is equal to lha if lha is more than 180 p is equal to 360 minus lha so along with this in the almanac you will find the declination of the body also so you note down the hourly declination from the daily page you apply the d correction increment from the increment table and you get the correct declination of the body so same step number 1 what we did in long by crown the second step is also same the second step we did uh, altitude correction in we apply the index error which is given to us in the question we apply the dip correction this is the height of i which is given to us uh, this gives us the apparent altitude we apply the total correction and we get the true altitude of the body now once you have done this much you have the true altitude you have the lha p and the declination you are ready to enter into the intercept formula so what is this intercept formula uh, okay before the formula Uh, from the true altitude you get that tzd of the body true zenith distance which is 90 minus true altitude so after this we apply the formula this is the formula of intercept cos of tzd is equal to cos p cos lat cos dec plus minus sin lat and sin dec now the first doubt which will come to your mind what is this czd till now we have seen two zenith distances one is true zenith distance which we know is 90 minus true altitude so the true zenith distance true zenith distance is obtained from the observation if you get the altitude of a body 90 minus true altitude gives you the true zenith distance of the body then the second zenith distance i told you was mzd meridional zenith distance and i told you that meridional zenith distance is nothing but the tzd only taken at the time of marfas so if you obtain the zenith distance of a body when it is on your meridian it is called as mzd meridional zenith distance now what is this czd now normally the zenith distance of the body is obtained from a observation you observe the body by the sextant we get it altitude 90 minus altitude gives us the zenith distance but there is another method which is available to us which we can use to get the lt uh, sorry the, the zenith distance of the body and that is by using this formula the intercept formula is basically a formula to calculate the zenith distance of any celestial body at any time for any observer so using this formula if i tell you uh, today is uh, 5th of february so if i tell you whatever our location is at our location 
what will be the zenith distance or altitude of the sun tomorrow at same time so tomorrow noon what will be the altitude of the sun at our location at our position it can be calculated using this formula so with this formula we can calculate the altitude of any celestial body at any particular time for any position or for any observer on the earth surface and the true altitude or the zenith distance which we obtain from the formula is known as calculated zenith distance because you have obtained it by calculation not by observation so how can we obtain the zenith distance by the formula the formula is cos of p multiplied by cos of latitude uh, p you see we have already calculated we have obtained it from the almanac and using our dr longitude latitude is given to us in the dr position and declination of the body is also we have obtained from the almanac so all these things can be put in the formula then we have a plus minus sign now whether to use plus or minus is decided by the name of latitude and declination if both are of the same name we use the upper sign if both are of the opposite names we use the lower sign so in this case latitude and declination same names we use plus latitude and declination opposite names we use minus so once you apply this formula you will get the calculated zenith distance of the body now once you get the calculated zenith distance what we do now is we find out the difference between tzd true zenith distance which we obtained by observation and tzd the calculated zenith distance which we obtained by the formula so we find out the difference between them and this difference is what we call the intercept so intercept is nothing but the difference between the true zenith distance and the calculated zenith distance okay now once you find out the intercept that is the difference between tzd and tzd we have to give it a name intercept is named in two ways either it is named towards the body or it is named away from the body now how do we find out whether the intercept is towards the body or away from the body for that we can use a shortcut method i will also tell you the concept behind this method little later but first let us see how we practically do it so you use a shortcut method which is ttt method okay so naming of the intercept is possible or can be done using this shortcut method ttt method what is this ttt first t stands for true second t stands for tiny third t stands for towards okay so true tiny two words what is the meaning if the true zenith distance is tiny tiny means it is smaller the intercept will be two words and if the true zenith distance is not tiny then it will be away so true tiny two words just remember this ttt and it will help you give the appropriate name to the intercept so it will be named either towards the body or away from the body okay once you have done the naming of the intercept the next thing which we need to obtain for plotting our pl is the direction of the position line now for direction we use the same method which we used in long by crone also that is we calculate the azimuth of the body using the abc method so a tangent latitude upon tangent p b tangent declination upon sin of p and their combination gives us c 
and we use C in this formula, tan azimuth is equal to 1 by C into cos lat, and we get the azimuth. The azimuth is in the quadrantal notation. In the quadrantal notation, the initial north and south is decided by the name of C, and the last east and west is decided by LHA. If LHA is less than 180, you put a west in the end. If LHA is more than 180, you put a east in the end. So when you get your azimuth from here, the direction of the PL is always perpendicular to the azimuth of the body. So we get the direction of the PL. Now with this, that is the intercept and the direction, the question is complete. Now, once you calculate both these things, we have to uh, make a diagram also. We have to make a plot. So how do we make a plot? The intercept plot is done in this way. For intercept plot, you use the DR latitude. It is given to us in the question. You use the DR longitude, again, given in the question. Now, in this DR position, First of all, you draw the azimuth of the body. So whatever is the azimuth of the body, if you have calculated, you plot that azimuth. In this example, we have taken it as 108. Then you see what is the intercept. Now, in this example, they have taken intercept one mile toward. So what we have to do is from the DR position, you go toward the body. The body is here. This is where the celestial body is. So from the DR position, you go towards the body. How much distance you go? Equal to the intercept, that is one mile as per the scale which you have. So from the DR position, you go one nautical mile towards the body and whichever position you reach, this position, this is the position from where the PL is going to pass. This position is the one from where PL will be passing and the direction of the PL will always be perpendicular to the azimuth of the body. So from this point, draw a line which is perpendicular to the azimuth and you get your position line. This reference point from where the PL is passing is known as ITP, which is intercept terminal point. So this is the point from where the PL is going to pass. Now, normally this ITP point position is not required by us. We can plot the DR, we can plot the azimuth and the intercept, and we can draw the PL straight away. But if in some question, they want you to find the position of the ITP, that also can be easily done. You can do it easily by using plane and parallel sailing. So you have the DR position known to you. Use your azimuth as the course and use your intercept as the distance. So if the azimuth has your course and the intercept as your distance, you can apply plane and parallel sailing and you will be able to find the latitude and longitude of the ITP also if it is required. So in a normal intercept question, this position is not required, only required if it is asked in the question to be found. Okay. So beta, uh, any doubt which you uh, feel like in this method? If you want, you can take a screenshot of this slide. It will immediately give you the step-by-step -step method how intercept is to be calculated. Sir, this is long by crown or intercept question in the book. In the question, it's the same as the question. So, you know how to solve it. Or you have to ask the question in the question, do you have to do intercept or long by crown? ओके okay. अब बेटा सेकंड मेट्स तक तो ये काम बड़ा आसान है 
they will tell you which method is to be used for site solving hamare questions mein aisa possible hai that they may not give you the method okay they may not tell you the method ek kis method se humne ise solve karna hai so then the choice is up to you which method you want to use there are some scenarios जिसमें हम कोई पर्टिकुलर मेथड को यूज करते हैं तो वो सिनेरियोज जो है वो मैं आपको पांचों मेथड करने के बाद बताऊंगा अगर क्वेश्चन में हमें बिल्कुल भी कोई इंडिकेशन नहीं मिल रही कि कौन सा मेथड यूज करना है लॉन्ग बाय क्रोन या इंटरसेप्ट तो फिर हम उन लॉजिक्स को यूज करके मेथड को फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं तो लेट मी कवर अप एक्स मेरेडियन एंड पोलारे देन आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू फाइंड द मैथड इफ इट इज नॉट मैं स्पेसिफाइड इन द ओके सर कॉपी थैंक यू ओके और बेटा एनी एनी मोर डाउट कमिंग इन इंटरसेप्ट इन द वर्किंग हाउ डू वी कैलकुलेट इट सर ये प्लस माइनस में लाइक वर्किंग दोबारा बता दो ओके बेटा इन दीस फार्मूलास वेयर एवर यू हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ अ साइन plus minus or minus plus it could be anything in long by crown it was minus plus in intercept it is plus minus okay let me show you the long by crown formula also see this was the long by crown formula you had a minus plus in this so wherever you get this kind of sign just see the term which is following this See in this term you have latitude and declination. Whenever latitude and declination are of the same name, both are north or both are south, you always use the upper sign. And whenever they are of opposite names, you use the lower sign. Okay. So in in long by crown, if lat and dec are of same name, you will be using minus. Let's see in intercept how it happens. in intercept you see if lat and dec are of the same name you use the upper sign which in this case is plus okay sir ठीक okay aur batao beta aur kya doubt aa raha hai okay very good so this covers up the intercept concept we have seen the intercept uh, pl also this is how we draw the intercept position line okay in case the intercept is away let us take for example that the intercept was away the same intercept one nautical mile away now in this case you draw the azimuth of the body this is the direction where the body is now from the dr position you have to go away from the body so you move in reciprocally opposite direction away from the body so whichever direction the body is you move away from it how much distance you move equal to the intercept so from the dr position you go 1 mile away from the body and you will get your itp once you have your itp the direction of the pl is perpendicular to the azimuth of the body So that's how we draw the intercept if it is away. Okay. So shall we proceed on to the uh, next method, beta? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. This we will do a little later. Now I. Uh, told you that uh, if you use intercept method or you use longitude by chronometer method in both the cases the position line which you obtain is the same so let us see how is this possible now if you use a long by chron method for solving position line you use a longitude by chronometer method if you see in this diagram this is our dr latitude and this is our dr longitude so when we calculate the site using long by crown we will obtain a observed longitude 
So you see, this is the observed longitude which we have obtained. So we will draw the observed longitude. Now this is our reference point from where the PL is going to pass. Bravo in this case. We draw the azimuth of the body and perpendicular to the azimuth is our PL. So you obtain the PL in this way. Now if somebody has used intercept, what will happen here? For intercept, he will be plotting the DR latitude. He will be plotting the DR longitude. The DR position is plotted. Then he will plot the azimuth of the body. Now the value of the intercept which he is going to get will be such that when he plots it, now in this case the intercept will be away. And when he plots this intercept, he will see that the ITP exactly come on the same position line which we obtained using long by chrome. So whether you use longitude by chronometer method and plot it, which is in the plotted in the blue color, or you take a intercept or you use the intercept method and plot your position line, which in this case is the yellow uh, plot, you will see that both these methods will give you the same position line. So by changing the method, the position line will not change. If it is the same body and it is the same time, whichever method you use, whether you use long by crone or you use intercept, in both the cases, you will receive the same position line. If you want to get a different position line, you have to either change the body or you have to change the time. If there are two bodies available to you, you take sight of the second body and you will have a different PL. If only one body is available to you, you take the sight of the body after some time and the PL would be different. So at the same time, using the same body, any method which you use, the position line is going to remain the same. So one more thing, the formula for A and B as per that, uh, in any case you solve by either by longer, by chrono or intercept method, the values of A and B is going to be the same only in both the cases. As per uh, that. A so, and B, that is the azimuth beta for azimuth? Yes, yes, yes. So that's azimuth that's also will be uh, same as per the basis the formula also if we see. Right, beta, right. In both the methods, you see azimuth calculation is exactly the same. Exactly. Only if the time changes, then only the values for A and B will change. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So this was the concept of intercept versus long by chrome. Okay. Now the next method which we have is the X meridian method. Okay, so what is this method X meridian? So when body is near the meridian. Very good. Bet. So this ko yaad rakhne ka sabse easy tarika hai. Ham log bahut apne language mein use karte hai na X. What do we mean by X? People are looking for their X's hmm, over social so, media. So meridian se thoda sa pehle, jaga thoda sa baad. ओके राइट दैट्स राइट तो बेटा एक्स का मतलब होता है जो छोड़ के चला गया या जो छोड़ के चली गई दैट इज एक्स तो यहाँ पे जो बॉडी है वो मेरिडियन को छोड़ के चली गई ओके तो बॉडी इज नॉट ऑन द मेरिडियन बट क्लोज टू द मेरिडियन तो दैट इज नोन एज एक्स मेरिडियन साइट नाउ दिस मैथड एक्स मेरिडियन वॉज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन द ओल्डन डेज when we were not having gps and we were dependent upon celestial position fixing nowadays this method has uh, more or less become uh, redundant and uh, i don't uh, anticipate that any of you will be using the x meridian method at all practically on ship uh, however for the exam purpose this method is uh, very much applicable and uh, many a times question comes which are based on this method Practically, uh, this method has become redundant. Number one, we have the GPS available to us. 
so it is not very important for us to have the marpa site or a site close to noon we can have a site little later or little earlier even if there is a interruption let us say there are clouds in the sky or there is a shower of rain or fog and you are not able to take the noon site now in the olden days we tried to cover it up by taking a x meridian site nowadays you can wait and whenever the sun appears from the clouds or whenever the rain stops the site can be taken at that time so practically not very useful method nowadays uh why was it important in olden days because noon time was fixed for fixing the position of the ship we made our noon report based on the noon position so if at the time of marpa a site was not possible or you missed the marpa time because of any reason then it was possible for you to still calculate the observed latitude using this x meridian method so let us see how do we use uh, this uh, x meridian method now x meridian method uh, can only be used in a certain window period that window period is known as x meridian limit it is denoted in minutes of time uh, if i say the x meridian limit for sun for today is 15 minutes that means you can only use this method 15 minutes before marpa and 15 minutes after marpa that is the meaning of the x meridian limit so if you happen to go outside that window period that means more time has passed more than 15 minutes have passed or the marpa is going to occur at a time more than 15 minutes later then x meridian method cannot be used so which method can be used in that case we uh, which method can we use better if we are outside the x meridian limit which method will you prefer intercept so yeah, that's right. that's right so if x meridian is not possible you are outside the limit then you can use the intercept method instead intercept can be used even when you are within the x meridian limits also intercept can be used anywhere now how do we calculate this x meridian limit uh, i will tell you about calculating the limit a little later okay because uh, in the questions you are not required to calculate the x meridian limit they will straight away tell you that this question has to be done using x meridian method and you solve it uh, so let us first see how do we calculate this pl then later on we will see how do we obtain the x meridian limit if it is required practically so whatever uh, information was given to us in long by crone and intercept the same information is given to us in x meridian site also with one extra information they will tell us that the body is close to the meridian or the body is near the meridian if they mention this term in the question then it is understood or it is accepted that this question is to be solved using the x meridian method so it's a practice in navigation that if it is mentioned that the body is close to the meridian or near the meridian you can use the x meridian method to solve it you don't even need to check whether the body is within the x meridian limit or not you can simply mention there since it is a explained or mentioned in the question that the body is close to the meridian or near the meridian using the x meridian method to solve it so they will provide us with the date and time the time could be either gmt or in some rare cases chronometer time with the indication of am pm they will tell us that the body is close to the meridian or near the meridian this phrase only tells us that the question is to be solved using the x meridian method they will give us the sextant altitude of the body and the index error and height of i and they will give us the dr position so this is the information provided step 1 is the same here you go to the almanac you calculate the gha so find out the gha of the body 
apply the dr longitude and get the lha which gives you the value of p second thing which you calculate or obtain from the almanac is the declination the second step is also same you correct the altitude of the body you apply the index error you apply the dip correction this is height of i you get the apparent altitude we apply the total correction and we get the true altitude of the body now 90 minus true altitude gives us the true zenith distance of the body this is all the information which we require for entering into the x meridian formula what is the x meridian formula cos of mzd is equal to cos of tzd plus 1 minus cos p into cos of latitude cos of declination so you see all the data which is required on the right hand side is available to us we have the tzd we obtained it from the true altitude we have the value of p p is already calculated we have the latitude it is given to us in the question we have the declination which we obtained from the almanac so we put all these values in the formula and we obtain the mzd meridional zenith distance so you see in marpas question this mzd was obtained straight away from the sextant altitude or the meridian altitude of the body 90 minus altitude gave you the mzd straight away but here uh, since we are not able to take the site when the body is on the meridian we are taking it either before marpas or little bit after marpas so the zenith distance which we are getting is not mzd it is tzd so when we put this tzd value in the formula we can get the mzd of the body now once you get the mzd the procedure is similar to marpas question you get the mzd from here you combine the mzd with the declination exactly as you did in meridian passage so we name the mzd using the shortcut method which we discussed yesterday we combine it with declination that means if they have same name they are added up and if they are of opposite names one is subtracted from the other the smaller one is subtracted from the bigger one and you obtain the observed latitude okay now up to here it was uh, uh, similar to marpas now comes the difference in marpas question once you get the observed latitude the question finishes there but here after you get the observed latitude you have to find the azimuth of the body also so we find the azimuth using abc now why is this azimuth required now this azimuth is required because the observed latitude is not our pl okay the pl will not be running east west the pl will always be running perpendicular to the azimuth of the body since the body is not on the meridian the azimuth is not going to be north or south the azimuth is going to be something else it will be close to north or south but it will not be exactly 000 or 180 so whatever azimuth we have the pl is going to be perpendicular to the azimuth of the body so then what is the use of this observed lat observed lat gives us a reference point from where the pl is passing so let me show you how do we draw the pl so in this question we draw the pl using the observed latitude the tr longitude this is our reference position and at this position we plot our azimuth perpendicular to the azimuth lies our position so you can see here the pl is not uh, running east west the pl will be perpendicular to the azimuth of the body
ओके सो दिस इज क्लियर बेटा दिस एक्स मेरिडियन मेथड इज क्लियर एनी डाउट कमिंग टू योर माइंड रिलेटेड टू दिस Okay good so if you want you can take a screenshot of this